bad risk there of getting taken. Here actually gets a four staff with that ring of regen. Moves forward, gets Bulba with the Gale. They're gonna continue forward. In comes the Astral Spirit. Yeah. And honestly, not getting the mech on this Venno just tells me that EG are looking towards the late game. I, I would say if had he gotten the Venno or the the mechanism on the Venno. It would lead me to believe that EG were going to try to pressure with these four heroes while they have Naga split pushing. But I don't think even think they're going to do that. They're just completely content with having Naga push out one or two lanes and then either having the Venomancer or Puck push out another lane as it looks like Roshan is going to be scouted and I don't think they can do this. Yeah, this seems They're taking risky. too much damage. Yeah, I mean, they, EG clearly know what's happening. They shot the orb in there. There's wards in there. RTZ can always move in there with Song. Uh, well, now he doesn't have enough mana as they move out of the Roche pit, but pretty risky to try to go for Roche. Then, so. Yeah. Fear continuing to pressure the bottom lane using the Plague Wards, and it's actually so hard to kill him once he has this Force Staff. And if you chase him too far, he's going to get the Poison Nova off and just... I mean, if you chase him too far, you might just all die. Yeah. Team Tinker heading back into their own jungle now. Trying now to completed. just, I mean, it feels like they're just at sort of a loss of what they want to do. They try to move into the Roche pit. That doesn't work out. They're farming these ancients together uh, just because they're nervous of them getting taken by EG. And now they're just sitting here. And meanwhile, Arteezy is just doing whatever he wants all over the map. No. And what are, is Tinker's answer to this? I, I mean, at this point, you almost have to go late game against this because... How are you going to pressure these towers? Sure, you have the Viper who can sit there and attack the towers, but none of the other heroes are actually that good at sieging the base. Dyer's bottom tower is under no, attack. not particularly. And with the initiation that EG have in the Puck and even the Naga Sleep, as well as using the Plague Wards defensively, it would be very difficult for Team Tinker to take a fight near these towers, so... I mean, at this point, Tinker, since they weren't able to acquire an early game advantage, they're pretty much forced into taking this late game. And we did talk about, you know, there is a possibility for them to win in the late game, but I just think this Naga, now that she has the Radiance, is just going to farm way too fast and get to the six slots before Tinker can actually deal with it. Some very nice D words by EG. Mostly only getting sentries, but they, uh, they seem to know exactly where everything is. I can't getting closer to the Agnum. Top lane, though. Big fight. Zai drops down the Death Ward. Sing Sing taking damage. He's going to go down. Double kill for Zai. Tidehunter does not get the Ravage off in that fight. The silence from Universe enabling that one. Good fight there for EG. And Team Tinker, when they lose these fights, it feels like they're falling so far behind because Arteezy's not ever going to be at these, uh, you know, until he is completely yeah. ready to go. And. He is just so far. No, and that was a, I mean, that fight was a support and an offlaner fighting against two cores for Team Tinker. Puck continuing to push out the waves. Fear. I'll dig that. Continuing to just do what he's been doing for the last five minutes, it feels like. Sitting yeah. in this bottom lane, forcing forward, gailing Bulba, pushing the lane slowly. Heaters here as well. And Tinker are just under so much pressure. What, what can they do at this point? I think they're just going to get outfarmed. Yeah, because at this point, Arteezy pushing in mid lane, farming the jungle. Uh, they have pressure in the top lane. Fear is providing pressure in the bottom lane. Pycat's actually going to stop for a Maelstrom. This is just a response yeah. to the Naga illusions, realizing that they need a way to clear those out. But not the most ideal item to push out these lanes, or not the most ideal hero to be pushing out lanes. But this is what they have to do at this point. Loses. Here finally does get blown up on the bottom lane. Sing Sing rotating down to make that happen. Yep. And I actually missed that one, but it looks like... I imagine it was just a stomp into triple remnant, and then they're able to combo that with the chains. Yep. And an easy takedown. And, I mean, Arteezy's just come farming away, doing whatever he wants. He's got up the boots of travel now, and... They really need to find some kills on Arteezy just to pressure the lanes because I think if they can find a kill on Arteezy, they might be able to get these tier 1 towers. Mm -hmm. And these tier 1 towers are just providing so much map control for EG. I mean, look at Zai. He can actually just farm right here quite comfortably because 
knowing that his tier ones are alive, and it looks like they're gonna go on Sing Sing with the coil. Oh, he is gonna get multicasted down. He's gonna die. Death Ward even used for that one's die. Getting that kill back to Artizi in the top lane. A little bit of dance around here. It looks like he now knows that there is some pressure here. There's heroes looking for him, but he is gonna be just fine. He's sending the illusions out. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yep. Arteezy being really smart with his positioning, not showing his hero on the map, just farming with the illusions, and... That actually has a finished Aghanim Scepter, that's, that's a lot of farm on the... Yeah, he's Witch already Doctor halfway to a BKB. Fuel's up in the air. That stops that engagement. 75 CS, 5 kills, 3 assists. Already with the Ogre Club and 1,000 gold, so looking towards that BKB. Fear starting up to Roshan here. And, uh, it's gonna take him a while to do it this way, but we'll see if he gets a little bit of help from the, any of his other teammates. I'm not even sure what this is. Just actually, like, how long does this take? Like, Ten minutes? A really long time. Oh my god. Well, if he gets a little bit of attention here, looks like Zion and Peter are rotating over. There is no ward coverage in the area. So Team Kicker might yeah. not know this is happening. I mean, it is pretty safe because they've Pulled two cores into the top lane. Pycat with his Maelstrom. Arteezy. Continuing to just pressure these other lanes. Looks like they've abandoned it. At least just Fear is the only one there now. And Zai gonna eat an Echo Stomp here. Is that enough to kill him? No. He is unslept. Woken up. Pycat though. Getting some pressure. There's the Dream Pearl. They net him as well. Arteezy sees. Two TP's in, does not have enough mana for Song quite yet. One mana away, gets swapped. Oh, Yule's up in the air now. He needs to get this off. Can they chain it together? There's the Echo Stomp, woken up by the tower. No, oh stun locked, and he tried to cast that sleep several times in a row, not able to get it off. Well wow. played there by Team Tinker. That was actually really well played, the way that they trained all of their abilities. They swapped him to cancel it the first time, then they Yule stim him to cancel it the next time, then they chain stunned him with the Stomp and the Magic missile, but during all that time, EG Roshan are able to dies. secure the Roshan, so... Here picks up base that Aegis. created a little bit from Arteezy, and he's almost got his Yasha. Honestly, not even that big of a kill for Team Tinker, as they aren't able to convert that kill on the Naga into anything. Yeah. Well, at least they are able Maybe to kill Arteezy. It looks like they might get Peter here. There is a Yule Stomp coming in as well, and now PBD looks extremely dead. Radiance bottom he tower goes down. is under attack. Yeah. So that is a good kill if they're able to convert this into a tower. And I mean, these kills actually don't mean that much if they're not able to get any objectives off of them. Yeah. Team Tinker are just suffering a lot because they have no map control. I mean, There's... they get these kills, but then they, as soon as Arteezy's back up, the lanes get pressured. They don't seem to be, like you mentioned, accomplishing much at all. I mean, tier ones are still. Well, one tier one is up bottom. They have taken down two. Sing Sing now with a battle fury. That it, it's just so late. It's 27 minutes. At some point in the game, and yeah, 15 at that match point, armor, but that's all gonna go away as soon as he gets touched by the Astro Spirit. Yeah. The real Maga is the question. Uh, Arteezy is just playing way too safe. Yeah, he is way in the back. Does not want to die again. They're going to be hard pressed to find something here. Maybe they can find Zai. Dyer's He's a bit far forward, but attack. doesn't look like they're going to go on it yet. Arteezy now moving forward. Sing Sing, can he get something started here? A lot of evil geniuses are here, though. Zai and Universe in the bottom lane. Your fear is just continuing to pressure this tier two. Uh, and Universe taking a lot of damage. There was an engagement there. Song is used by Arteezy. They back up. Is under attack. Yeah, doesn't look like I can actually fight that. As Universe gets quite low from the combo from Ember Spirits and 
I think Tinker... Uh, it's actually really hard to say how this is going to go in the late game, because... They don't have very good single target damage against these illusions, but they have good AoE, so if EG intelligently split push with the illusions in separate lanes, then I think they have a strong chance to win this game, but it's going to be very difficult actually for them to take these team fights. Like going uphill against the Ember Spirit and the Elder Titan is. I mean, this combo is actually just very ridiculous in the late game, as you can just spam the waves with Astral Spirit and Slide of Fist along with the Natural Order aura, and everything's just going to die when you try to walk uphill. Veil is completed for Fear. Maybe that helps them win some of these earlier team fights as EG gathering in the top lane. Pycat on the way out here is going to TP. Pretty close to almost dying there. A little bit of dancing and... going on in this bottom area. Uh, both teams, I mean, just passively farming, pushing up. Fear still has this uh, Aegis. Zai almost completing his BKB on the Witch Doctor. I mean, this is really fast timing for an IXP KB on a support witch doctor. Yeah. The good news is that there is a Vengeful Spirit swap. So yeah. that's still a possibility, although he might die so fast. We'll see if he can actually get it off. Uh, I mean, Ag's Death Ward is no joke. Mm -hmm. Especially because I expect at least one Naga illusion to be placed on these support heroes on the side of Tinker during these team fights. Sing Sing, at least able to push out the waves now. I mean, Fear mm -hmm. has been working on this bottom tier two for basically ever, but it, it does contain Team Tinker. I mean, they have, they have limited options as far as the lanes that they can push yeah. out. They're constantly getting pushed in, and if they don't keep a hero bottom, then Fear will just take the tower. And if we look at the gold, it's not really increasing in EG's favor, so Tinker doing a good job of using the map, farming out all of the lanes. And a lot of the farm is going out of the Naga Siren, so... The farm distribution a bit better Sing -sing. for Team Tinker. It looks like he might go up here. Oh, remnants away. He's going to snap it. Oh my nice. god. Dead to the poison. So close, but not, make, not making it out. Dead to the poison. Oh, That's just fear. so much magic damage with the Veil of Discord. That Veil already getting one kill. Does that open up some space now for EG to maybe push in a little bit more aggressively? They have to commit a lot to these illusions here. RTZ finally is going to run into Pycat. Does have enough mana to BOT out of here. It's very close to dying, but is going to be okay in the end. Just barely. That was close. Wow. <sighs> hmm. You know, Bulba, I think, actually chased too far with his hero. Had he been able to keep the spirit on top of RTZ and run his hero away at the same time, I think they actually would have secured a kill onto RTZ because they would have gotten off the Echo Stomp. Yeah, this spirit is broken. Oh, it is. Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he just needs to cast. Stuck. Oh, he can't cast a new one. Okay. That's actually a problem. It's broke. Pushing back over to the standings really quickly here. Just to, again, show what's at stake. Evil Geniuses, like we mentioned, heading into this one. Doesn't seem like they're. I mean, this is not a must win game for them, it seems like. But yeah. For Team Tinker. I think they need to get at least one of them, but we're back Spirit's underway. Spirit's still bugged. Maybe he can use them. Oh, there we go. He just walks into it. again, pushing out this lane. That's a little weird. I've never seen that happen before. I'm not sure what caused it. Maybe the sleep or something. Yeah. Some weird interaction. But as it stands, RTZ just continuing to farm out all these lanes. Goes ahead and uses the Manta, TPs himself out of there. Already up to 3,000 gold on top of his Manta style. And it looks like we're going to have a smoke from the rest of the members of Evil Geniuses. We're going to find... Oh, EGM. He loses the gem in that engagement, too. Now Bulba going to try to get on out of here. Do they have an... Oh, the net just not quite close enough. Yeah. Tinker get away with limited losses, although losing the gem, not insignificant. As, again, that's something that can maybe help him get map control back. Yeah, Team Tinker are going to be in quite a predicament after this hex is completed on Universe because currently they're, you know, they're able to push out these lanes fairly decently, but I think once Universe gets this hex, it's going to be much more difficult to push out these lanes, especially for the Ember Spirit. Because if he gets hexed and then chained into the silence and then stunned by, you know, one of these support heroes, he could just fall fairly easily. Yeah, very easy for him to just get pushed out and then 
die immediately. Tidehunter moving forward here onto Arteezy. Does have the Ravage available. Haste Rune as well. What do they want to do? There's the Ravage popped. Arteezy, we'll see if he can make it out. Is there going to be something to follow this up? There is the Yules. Stomp coming down. Arteezy going to be stuck. Trying to make it out of this one. Burst can Splitter as well. Kill? Looks like they might be able to take him down. Yes, they do. Fear now coming in. Drops down the Nova. Sing Sing is rotated in. Sleight of Fist. Chain's going off. Bulba trying to get some hits off. Koikova is going to go down here to the Poison. Zai moves forward with the Paralyzing Cast. It's bouncing between two extremely easily. Bulba, no, not going to not be able to get out of that. Sing Sing stacking remnants onto Fear. Fear still alive. Sing Sing gets multicasted. PPD smacking away. Down he goes. Triple kill for EG Fear. Disaster for Team Tinker as they lose a lot just to try to kill Arteezy. They do get the kill, but... Wait. And Pycat died in the top lane. Who did Pycat die to? Uh, I don't know. He must have died to Ogre Can't and Puck, maybe? Wow. What a disaster for Tinker. I think after they got the Naga kill, they should have been in full retreat mode. Run. You can't kill this Venomancer. He's so tanky. And then Zai is just sitting there healing him up the entire time. Dyer's middle tower is under I mean, it looks promising for Tinker. Had they just gotten the Naga kill and even maybe just traded the Tide, I think that would have been well worth it. But They lose a lot from that one. Has been here with a triple kill. And accelerate him towards his next item here. Evil Genius is now with that is with that fight attack. victory, they are well ahead. 12k in net worth. Yeah. And I think it just as this game progresses, it just gets harder and harder for Team Tinker to keep from getting even further behind in golds as they're just losing map control constantly. Every time they die, they lose a bit more map control. And I think once like I said, once Universe gets this hex, I mean yeah, it's going to be hard because they... They're they, literally going to have to sit in their base. If they do what they've been doing, they're just going to get blinked on and killed pretty much immediately. <laughs> Sing Sing, just trying to push out, building a second Battle Fury. I guess there's a small possibility that could be a Lincoln. So. Yeah. Um, Has he picked up any other items? Has he's a been bottom he almost has, has that heart fallen. completed in that. That's going to be a big item for EG, just making Arteezy able to really participate in the fights with tons of yeah. HP. Yeah, and there's honestly, there's not enough damage on this Ember yet for him to effectively clear out these illusions. Song going to go off here, Arteezy going to try to retreat, Zai hitting the escape button as well, and oh, he's going to barely make it out. But, oh, EGM caught with fear. Here takes him down. EG just looked like they're rampaging all over this game now. The last couple of yeah. minutes, it's really gotten out of hand. The Naga has really become Dyer's a huge, huge liability for them. Because when it gets to this point, when the Naga Illusions get so tanky, it's much harder for these supports to clear them out. Really, like, a core to do it. And then at that case, in that point, the supports are, like, dying to just the Illusions. And the heart is yeah, finished the heart up now. Completed. Yeah, and I think once he gets Diffusal, that's probably going to be the end of this game. Just because... Tinker are just going to be stuck at their, in their base at that point in time. And it's not even like this is one of those games where it's only Arteezy farmed on this Naga. I mean, Fear is absolutely is enormous on this Venom Answer. Third on the net worth, High Cat in second, but it feels like he hasn't had that much of an impact. I mean, he's 4 3 and 3. The mechanism has been okay in some of these fights. The, the Mjolnir is just a necessary item to help push out the waves. Yeah. But it doesn't feel like he's had a huge uh, impact. It's not, I wouldn't even say it's his fault because it's so hard to play Viper against these split pushing heroes. If you can't like, if you can't snowball the game early enough and just bulldoze your way down all these towers. Forward. Fear darts forward. There is a Ravage available. He gets four staffed away. Zai turns on the Death Ward with the BKB. Double kill immediately. Now full retreat from Team Tinker. The Earth Splitter is going to go off. Sing Sing darting back and forth. Pycat I think got bashed by Roshan. Triple kill for Zai up in the top. One's going to make it out. Buybacks. Pycat's coming back into this fight. And this feels like it has to be the last fight here. I don't understand how Team Tinker can come back after losing another one. Arteezy going into the base. Just taking down buildings. Now he is going to pop off the song. Head out. And a very, very easy fight. It looked like for Fear. Koikva was a little late to pull the trigger. It looked like on the Ravage. And as a result, doesn't get it off at all. The Death Lord just consumes him. Yeah. And I mean, even if he had gotten the Ravage off. Zai had already used the BKB and Zai gonna go with the Manor Sanger Nyasha. Oh boy. 
Yeah. Evil Genius is looking like they're going to close in here on game number one of this series of two. Dyer's top barracks are under attack. Yep, looking really good for EG at this point. Uh, I would say there's a very low probability now for Team Tinker to come back. I, if Sing Sing had more farm on this Ember, like if yeah, he had I feel had like his had a, like, second, already had a Battle Fury and like a Chrysalis or something. Yeah. Then yeah. you can say, you know, with the natural order, maybe there's a chance they can crit down the team or something like that. But he's just not farmed enough. Yeah. Because I think for Tinker to win, he needs two Battle Furies, a Daedalus, and at that point, it's actually quite difficult for EG to push up into the high ground. But. I mean, they're already down tier three towers, and the problem is that they're EG is just winning the fights four v five, yeah. back of the death ward, and a good initiation from Universe, and, and the hex picked up on Universe too. That feels like the beginning of the end because it, it really limits the ability for Team Tinker to push out of their base here, and yeah. uh, they're gonna have to be playing much more carefully. I mean, look at Bulbas just getting owned by these these illusions. Bail plus Radiance Burn, Jesus. I think he was Gale as well. Dyer's bottom tower is under Fear attack. You're pushing in. Just Fear's just been like a rock this game. He just sticks in a lane. He's been like a little mini group there, also contributing Dyer's bottom team tower fights. Has fallen. But he's just been pushing in lanes constantly this whole time. Arteezy safely sending these illusions up, sieging. There is a Rax down in the mid lane as well. And, uh, EGM, looking like he's. I'm gonna try to make it out of this one, but he is so dead. Arteezy getting the kill there with the illusions. There's the sleep. They're gonna initiate on Pycat, who does not have buyback. Bought back in the last fight, and this does not feel good. Pycat is gonna get hexed immediately, yes, and it looks like he will fall quickly after silence as well. Not gonna let him do anything in this fight. There's the mech trying to get some right clicks off. Nope, Arteezy gonna clean him up, and yeah, they just call GG. They know that it's over, so. Game one gonna go the way of evil geniuses. Yep. And not too surprising, I mean we talked a little bit about